Chris Hasmus, Brad Swagger, and of course, you did not misread that, a TMO. Major League Rugby has made that a priority this year on every match day site. Seawolves get us underway. The blue and white stripes belong to the visitors. A little smaller, they're going to have to really make sure that they hold on to the ball in contact. He's got a few more countrymen from South Africa who have joined the league this year, including down in Houston where they upset Los Angeles a little over 24 hours ago. Nobody upset at Starfire. Great talk by Mike Lash. Leave him, leave him, leave him. Time of the essence for the visitors. Aaron. Because all of the forwards are right there. They have to retreat. You cannot play. Ben Landry played him. He said, no, he's offside. Actually, two passes oh, out. I'd love to give it to you, but I can't. Cleared out again. Yeah, Rumble, the vice captain, the first ever arrow. That one sneak in. It does. Two for two here in 2020. That's one half, that's one. Will an arrow arise from the mall? Brody, back to Richardson. Promptly oh. met. Lost it. Still with Toronto. A converted try would give them their first lead of the year. Brody, a couple of extra meters when it's all set and down. It's good, it's good. Interesting there, right, Lincoln? You're spot on. Mike Lash goes um, up to Ricard Hadding and says, hey, two in quick succession, not rolling away, same player. Not a formal warning, but he's just saying, like, I'm keeping an eye on that. But what was interesting is he said, if you're not going to compete, I'm going to let it go. The idea being, if there's no one coming in to try and steal the ball. The door, looking for that final surge. Mike Lash, our referee, in position. Could not dot it down, but it remains with Seattle. Freed up. Leans forward. Seawolves with the first try of 2022. After Toronto was unable to cross the threshold on the opposite end. And the flags are up. Conversion's good. Back to the captain, Shepard. Kelly, a misconnection, but able to pounce on it, Mieres. Arrows again, trying to answer the try, conceded a moment ago. Two meters away. Jones, final connection, dials up Mitchell Richardson. And there's your answer from Toronto. Yeah, that was, puts it back. You can see there's already space here on the short side, and it's the beautiful skip pass from Brody to Tufaga. Have to wonder, Lincoln, how long Toronto, being the smaller pack, can match that physicality of Seattle. So they need to get some points on the board before they get to that last 20 minutes. It's a Seattle side up right now on the scoreboard. They have five men making their MLR debut today. That's right. Alatima has had a great boot, and the, you know both defenses have been excellent. That's why you should always take the points when you're playing against a good defense. Toronto's defense holding up very well. Alatimo starts the new year three for seven meters out. Now to Faliva. Brody with some new faces to feed this to. A tad tall and a breakaway opportunity for Seattle. You hear the roar as Ross Neal takes it wire to wire for the try. Well, we uh, Reed Watkins being not very smart. Roll close, see if you can set up the more and drive it in. Seattle contests it, able to scoop it up. Can they put this one away? The punctuation for the Seahawks, the final whistle at Starfire. 
as Seattle finds four points on the opening weekend. A rivalry renewed as for the sixth time Seattle and Toronto collide. This one goes away of the home side Seawolves. Well, it was a deep.